Well, the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season we've been running now. We started June 1 and things are starting to pick up as we're finishing up the month of June. Of course, we had Alex earlier in the season. The next name up is Bonnie and we could see Bonnie forming as a tropical system here later today. We'll be watching very carefully. Let's take a look at what we're watching. It's this area of low pressure, technically still a potential tropical cyclone number two. Remember, Alex was the first system. This is the second and it is forecast to keep moving to the west. Right now the movement is west at 23 miles per hour, so it's moving along at a pretty good clip. Now it's a potential tropical cyclone because Technically, it's not a tropical system just yet, but there's a good chance it's going to bring tropical storm conditions or perhaps even hurricane impacts to land masses within 48 hours. So the hurricane center says, hey, this is a, a potential tropical cyclone, and you can see the tropical storm warnings are up for Trinidad and Tobago, Granada under that, and some of the other uh, islands just along the area north of Venezuela, as you can see there along South America's coast, eventually kind of skirting by Colombia and making a run towards Nicaragua. Now this is forecast to gain a little bit of strength and a little more organization becoming a tropical storm. There's some question as to whether or not it could become a hurricane before impacting Nicaragua. So we'll need to watch this. What I will tell you is that all the models agree this thing is not any kind of a threat to Hampton Roads, but certainly for folks again living along the uh, South American coastline there along the Caribbean, they need to watch. I think about Aruba, they're under the tropical storm warning as well, and it is forecast to intensify as this water here is very warm and it comes into a more favorable environment for development. Now the models again, all very tight in their packing and in good agreement that they run it towards Nicaragua as we head towards the weekend. So that's the thinking again, it's high confidence that that's the path this thing is going to take. And of course we will keep you updated in the coming days. In in addition to that, two other areas. Here's where we have potential tropical cyclone number two. We've got another one out here to the east and this area here in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's take a closer look. This area here has just been a trough of low pressure, but we're getting clusters of storms and the water temperatures here in the Gulf of Mexico very, very warm right now. So there's about a 30% chance this thing could become a tropical system before reaching the Texas coastline. We will again monitor this for more organization. Right now we're getting a lot of convection or storminess clusters. And if these clusters start to wrap around and get even more organized, we could have a tropical system there. We'll continue to watch that. And then that other area that you see out to the east of potential tropical cyclone too. This is just another area of low pressure where we've seen some showers and storms developing right now. There's a 20% chance for development as it heads towards the lesser Antilles. So we'll be watching that one. Obviously this one would be a little farther north and could potentially develop and maybe impact Puerto Rico, Hispaniola. So we'll be watching for that, but right now only a 20% chance for development there. All right, that's the latest on the tropics. We could get that development, the formation of Bonnie later today. I encourage you to stay tuned for more updates throughout the day from 13 News Now.